God, he gon' be with me When I finally lose my mind I haven't been here for that long, but this is the coldest in California it has ever been. I'm kind of lost, but honestly, I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to find this fucking museum. I think we found it. I told my friend that I really want to visit a museum and she recommended this one. As much as I'm enjoying California, I really want to find a sense of like home in New York. I used to go to so many museums and stuff in New York because there's like culture and arts everywhere. I'm glad that I'm exploring California now. The way you're sitting quietly You look a little lonely With your heart out of your chest I'm screaming help me forget all about today My brain is filled with mercury But it doesn't even matter with nothing but But something about you makes me feel at home Help me forget about today I was hoping I could sit with you She's lighting up the way I've had in front of me with different shades of burgundy Her lips are softly closing in on mine Is this how it feels to die? Then take me back from where I came Cause it doesn't matter now We're nothing but So cynical, but something about you makes me feel confused. My head's way up in the blue. Help me forget about what's been so I can let you in and hear the noises fade and angels begin to sing. I didn't expect to see Pokemon, but um, that was a pleasant surprise. I'm really happy about it. As you guys know by now, I love Pokemon cars, so that was like a cherry on top. Look at these steps right here. Two years ago, when you guys first started following me, you know that I would not be able to make like even half of these, but let's do that right now. We're gonna do that in heels. Let's go. Yay, we did it. It is beautiful up here. They even have a bar right there. This is like a little gem that like nobody knows. I love that I just discovered this. From now on, this honestly gonna be my breeding space where I go to avoid everyone. Look at all of this space. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. About you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. For 
I gotta be honest with you guys. The only time that I feel like a little bit lonely is like when I see someone dining alone, which is really weird because you would think that when I see someone that is coupled with someone that I feel lonely, but it's not. I had this thought with myself today and I was thinking, I used to make a vlog that's saying I'm alone but not lonely, but recently I do feel lonely. A part of me have matured because I used to think that feeling lonely is the worst thing. I want everyone to embrace their negative feelings as much as they celebrate their positive feelings because at the end of it, it's just a feeling. It is okay to be alone. It's okay to feel loneliness. You don't always have to have it together. So yeah, I mean, I can admit it. I'm feeling a little bit lonely. It's really not the end of the war. It has been a long day and I just really brain dumb with you guys. I'm not trying to sound smart or anything. Question of the day. This one is from Mia Edwards. Hi Mia. Here's the question. How do you balance living your life and managing your post-off needs? Sometimes I struggle. That's why I ask. I miss you in these places. I would say that it's not easy. There's a lot of recovery time, especially when you run into complications like myself. But I do know there's so many trans women who straight up post up after like a month and go back to work and doing like real like heavy lifting stuff. I don't know how they do it. I applaud them. It took me a year and a half to feel like I'm back to normal, like normal. But I would say that I'm very fortunate with how I plan things out and I gave myself enough time and I felt secure enough to take that much time off so I could really focus on myself and heal. Also, I got like my surgery during COVID time. So not a lot of people really require you to go back to work right away. I was fortunate enough to like do it at home and you know like share my journey with you as you see like I'm sitting and I'm healing and I'm doing every exercise I could. The only thing that was like kind of hard to manage was like physical therapy. At the end I mean it really paid off but not only that I really want to emphasize on the part about the mental state that you have right after you pose off. I went through a time where I felt really depressed. I mean I wouldn't say that it's like chronic depression or anything but there was time that I really felt helpless I felt like you know maybe I made a mistake but that's like a combination of like the trauma that I went through and the painkillers and then the inability to actually go out and do something now that I have the surgery that I've always wanted I ended up not being able to do anything but as you see right now that's not true like I was lucky enough to like push myself challenge myself go out there and do things and make it happen so yeah I mean everybody's different Generally, I would say as an advice for anyone who going through, you know, the same journey as me and Mia, I would say that listen to your body, prioritize your needs, just take it one step at a time. Don't expect yourself to do things as someone who's like haven't had a surgery. Don't put so much expectation on yourself and you know, feel like you fail or anything like that. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's healing journey different. Everyone's body recovered differently. So I would say that really be kind on yourself during this time that you need and take as long as you have to because there's no finish line, you know? You don't have to compare your journey with anybody else's. If they recover after three months, three weeks, like good for them, let them be. Focus on yourself. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps. So I'll see you guys next time. You're the leaves in mid-August.